Great Britain and Canada look like here. Let's bring in Meridian Paulton. She's a research assistant in domestic policy studies at Heritage. It's great to have you here, Meridian. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. What would socialist health care have? Because if you listen to Bernie Sanders, Medicare for all, it would cut costs, people would have more access to care, and it would be, it would be better for Americans. What, what would that look like here in the U.S., though? Well, the arguments that we hear are always that socialist health care, yeah, are going to cut costs. They're going to increase the, the availability of health care for Americans. But it's, in fact, the exact opposite of that. So we know that in countries like Canada and Great Britain, we have notorious wait lists. We have people seeing uh, skyrocketing costs, in fact, is a, is a real problem that we would experience here in the U.S. And you wouldn't have any choice in your health care. So when we talk about socialist health care, Medicare for all, that means no private insurance, no employer-based insurance, not, not even Medicare as we know it today, all outlawed, all gone. So there is then a difference, Meridian, between health coverage and health care. Uh, how bad does health care get as more people would ostensibly get coverage? Well, we've seen this time after time in Canada and Great Britain, both of which have systems similar to what's been proposed in the Medicare for All bills. Uh, in particular, Canada. Last year alone, Canadians were on wait lists for over a million procedures, something that would be unheard of in the United States. Mm. And, you know, and also, too, and, and this comes from Heritage Research, if we had Medicare for all, 58 million seniors and disabled Americans would be displaced from their current Medicare plan. I know a lot of seniors that love their Medicare plan and put on these government health care programs, which seems like kind of a disaster. I, I want to move on to the Washington state issue. This is new news. This could be the first state in the U.S. to actually have Meridian a public option available by 2021. But the state doesn't run the program, a, a private a company, insurance company runs it. Is that maybe what would make sense more in the United States? You know, the public option is just a Trojan horse for government run health care across the map, for socialist health care. Uh, what a public option would do, what Washington State is attempting to do, is essentially restrict the cost of the supply and then in so doing restrict the availability of the supply of medical care. Um, and so what you end up doing is you end up favoring uh, these socialist programs. You end up favoring the government-run program because it's at a lower cost. That drives private business uh, out of the ability to compete, and pretty soon you end up with a socialist program. So, so really, at the end, this is just a Trojan horse for this socialist health care. But other states are considering something similar, no? Colorado, New Mexico? You're right. Uh, multiple states have looked at having public options. Multiple states have looked at having single-payer health care. Mm -hmm. Here's what they've found every time. When we look at government-run health care, government-run health care fails because it costs too much. Government-run health care fails simply because it doesn't get Americans the care that they need. If you ask Americans what they want, Americans want more choices. Americans want lower costs. Americans want better access for health care. Socialist health care gives the exact opposite of that, raising costs, reducing choices. Mm -hmm. So, Meridian, thank you very much. And it's interesting, Cheryl, the rhetoric that we're hearing is much different than the reality when we examine right. items like Medicare for All. Yeah, Meridian, Thanks. very great points from you in Heritage. Thank you so much. That was very informative. And we're, of course, going to be having this conversation all week long on FBNA and Focus.